Hello guys and welcome back to Ecto Training. This is the channel for natural bodybuilders, hard gainers, tall lifters, ectomorphs and anyone who loves going to the gym and above all anyone who wants to build a decent physique without resorting to the use of steroids and performance enhancing drugs. So it doesn't matter whether you're at the start of your journey, the middle of your journey or the end of your journey, I'm here to help you and give you some tips I've learned from nearly 17 years, well actually nearly 18 years of training naturally, turning my Myself from the original ectomorph into having a half decent physique but sometimes when I'm pumped I even get accused of being on steroids so thank you for that. So the video today is one I've had requested through emails, comments, Instagram, personal messages. It's all about how to build shoulders especially if you're like over six foot two you're going into that tall man sort of training. It's difficult to add some decent mass Personally, shoulders I struggle. It's I think it's probably my least developed body part, especially on my presses. My chest, my back are far stronger than my shoulders, but that is common for most tall lifters. But even though that hasn't stopped me pushing through the years and I've got some cracking exercises, I'm gonna share a full routine today where you hit every single muscle in the delt. All the muscles in the delt, all the cuts. We're gonna train for mass and cuts. We're gonna run through the lot today. If the gym, the music isn't too loud, I will talk you through the exercises as we go. If not, I will summarise at the end and I will voice over the footage so I can explain each exercise. My personal preference, my form, the sort of rep ranges I like and how I vary my training, but let's get to the gym for the first exercise. Oh, before I go, pre-workout time. Before you get into any exercise, stretch the body part you are doing and warm up with a light weight. This will prevent injury and is very important advice. Do not get straight into the workout. Exercise one is standing military press or barbell press. I find this is a great builder. I like to do my presses when I've got the most energy. Work my way up in weight slowly. Wear a belt for the heavier reps. This is also great because as a compound movement, it doesn't just engage the shoulders, it engages the core and is a great first exercise to start on your shoulders. I do like to have a little, you'll see me just push myself up with my legs for momentum. Nothing wrong with that as long as you keep your back tight and don't go too heavy and train your ego. Dumbbell press. As you guys know, I love dumbbell press. Bring the dumbbell to the ears. Keep the tension on the delts. Keep the form strict and get a spot when you need. Another favourite of mine, one I hate but I also love, is Arnie Press. It's very hard to get heavy weights on this. It's all about the control and this is a great secondary press. Seated lateral raise. One week I tend to do seated, then I'll do standing. Sometimes I'll do cables but this is a great builder. It hits the side delt perfectly. You know, you can go heavy, you can go light, you can vary your sets. It's a mix of mass and cuts. This is my heavy set. Try to keep your form as strict as possible on this exercise. The next one is front dumbbell raise. This is a great one for the front delt. I like to go as heavy as I can on this. I like to do it with a dumbbell preferably, but I also like to use a barbell as shown here and this is a great secondary exercise and great for drop sets on this exercise. This also brings up your bench press as front delts are involved. Now upright row, the forgotten exercise. Brilliant shoulder builder, hits the traps, hits the mid delt and also warms up the traps ready for shrugs if you like to include them on shoulder day as I do. Do not forget these, the rear delts. For years I didn't do these, the last few years I've been doing these and they've brought my delts up great. Now onto barbell shrugs, my final exercise to complete the shoulder routine. Up the weight slowly, wear a belt on your heavy set. You can do them front, you can do them back, you can also use dumbbells, cranes, various machines but today I'm just showing you my favourite one. Working up in weight now, keeping the belt on, keeping the form good. Big squeeze, but it's also about bringing the barbell all the way down to stretch the shoulder out. So there we are. Hopefully you enjoyed that routine. Every week is different. Like I say, I do like to start on a press. I feel when you've got the most energy and you're doing your heavy presses, you should be hitting those as soon as you enter the gym. 
I'd say 90%, 9 out of 10 times, I will press first. Sometimes I'll press last, I'll do a secondary press. Sometimes it's dumbbells, Arnie presses like it was today. Other times it's machine. Every week is different and that's what keeps the body guessing and that's the most important thing on any body part I can stress is do not get stagnant with one particular exercise. Keep it varied and you will grow monster shoulders. I'm still trying to grow monster shoulders and we'll continue to grow monster shoulders. You know, if you've got any questions, any queries, you can email me, you can drop a comment. But please subscribe to this channel and remember you can get big and stay big you can get strong and stay strong and you can do it by staying natural. Until next time, Hector out.